Life is too hard, but I'm still out here boasting. I'm focused, I block out commotion. Uh, all of y'all salty like you drawn the ocean to Emmys, your only devotion. Uh, watching this shit, they your favorite and like it to know more about y'all emotions. Uh. What is up guys, Flames you here and I am bringing you a Starbase tutorial video. I'm bringing you guys this video because I've seen that a lot of people have been leaving comments on other videos and things like that um, about how certain things work and they're missing like the fuel rods and rails and stuff like that and how you can't refill them and you've got to buy them at certain places. Um, first things first, I would like to point out that none of the shops in game work and I do not believe that they are going to be working. They want you you to use the talent tree and they want you to craft so that way you can create the things that you need if you look at your talent tree you have the advanced technology tab which requires the advanced workbench this allows you to make uh, the different things station foundation inside safe zone and things like that which will allow you to create your own space station. I'm assuming that this one is for outside safe zone, so you can make your station outside the safe zone if you research all the way down to this. It has a very hefty cost in red points, 100,000 and 20,000 points into purple. I would like to point out, however, though, under basic, under the basic workbench, you can research down to the fuel rods. And what this unlocks for you, uh, let's see, is my ship here? It most likely is not. Looks like it despawned while I was stuck in space. My ship back over here. From wherever it disappeared to. Okay. As you can see, I've added onto my ship. You will not have some of these on your starter ship. That's totally fine. I will point out that you have your, your first fuel rod here. And then you've got four in the back. Two here and two here that run as spares but that's not all so people say that you cannot refill them that is untrue you can if you have a crafting bench and you hit the crafting uh, under ship modules you will notice that there is the option to craft a tier one generator fuel rod full you can craft the fuel rod empty or you can refill it so, this does not require a workbench. All it requires is Nergite and an empty fuel rod. So, you go out and you mine, you get you some Nergite crystal. It's the green ore, and you can refill the canister once you've researched the fuel rod talent from the basic tree, which is here. Uh, you, then you want to do the thrusters and work your way through different things. I recommend getting the fuel rods up as soon as possible. It allows you to make the fuel rod racks. And things like that so you can refill your fuel rods by crafting the tier one generator fuel rod refill something very nice to know your talent points are earned by crafting other things this here I'm assuming it would be from crafting the exo parts because you see this same symbol over where you buy the exo parts for the exo shop uh, tools and weapons are crafted here by learning the tools and weapons crafting bench And then you can learn the tools and the weapons from each side that you need and of course you will need the points to unlock them So this one is 1,000 power 2,000 gear. I'm gonna research that now. I can craft this on my own so if I hit H and then I go to crafting benches. You will see here that I have the tools and weapons crafting bench, what I need to make them, and what it awards me. So this one awards me 230 of the blue points, 230 of the electricity points, 775 of the purple, and 308 of the basic. This will be very good for crafting, and it's made out of all the tools that you can get right there, uh, out just inside the asteroid belt, inside the safe zone. If you are curious, you can take them and bolt these benches, with a bench here, one here, and another bench over here to this side of the ship. I got these working finally through easy build mode. The way that I did that was I went and hit escape, did the insurance transfer, I abandoned the ship, and I restarted the tutorial. I got the new starter ship, and all of a sudden, easy build hall worked. Now I'm going to show you something else that you might need. 
and that's definitely worth knowing. So if we fly over here just a little bit, all right, you'll see that this is the Sunny Ship Center right next to the Easy Build Hall. In here, you can get new ships upgraded for uh, traveling out in space. Sorry about the stuttering here, guys. I am running without a script at the moment, so this is kind of very impromptu. But uh, I'm going to despawn my ship and just do that mid-flight. And then we're going to go on run in here real quick. So if you look in here, most of the ships here inside are used by the basic ore types that you can find while you're out roaming around. I recommend going after the Marmot. That is the one that I'm going to go after and grab. But here at Sunny Ship Center is where you can get uh, the next level ships that you need that will help you get out into the uh, deeper parts of the asteroid belt so you can get rarer materials and things like that, which will allow you to go further into space you know make more ships get more complex more rare ores and continue your space journey i wanted to really stress the fact that you could refill the fuel rods as well as buy them on the oxygen house anything that you make you can also add directly to the ship with your bolt tool don't forget that so we're gonna fly up here a little bit Something else that I want to show you, a lot of people uh, I've been talking to have said that they didn't like uh, how the starter ship maneuvered. If you hit the U key on each of the lever, on each lever, you'll see lever centering speed. Set that to 100. That will make the ship much more flyable. So make sure that you look at each individual lever and change lever centering speed to 100. That will get you started on fixing that issue, that you, any issue that you may have in regards to that. I have run out of things, I think, to say. I think I stressed the biggest point, which was you most 100% definitely can create and refill the fuel rods. Uh, so you can empty one out, go mine some of the green Nergite crystal out there in the asteroid belt. It is still in the safe zone. It's a little further out than some of the other ores. Uh, it's encased in ice, usually. So you can go out there, go get yourself some fuel, and when you get your fuel, you just refill it that way. It helped me out, and I hope that it helps you guys out. I will be running with a script next time. This was just an on-the-fly little tutorial. If you guys liked the video, please be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below. And also let me know if you already knew any of that, so that way I can you know, correct some things. I just know that a lot of people are searching up how to fix the fuel rods because they can't figure out that you can refill the fuel rods. So I hope this helps somebody, gives anybody a little bit of information. I will be working on making more videos, more content, more tutorials as I learn more about the game myself. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you guys next time.